We're going to install Windows Server 19. This is the beta version, build 17.6.23. So we're going to do this in VirtualBox, but you can do it in any way you want. Hit Start. And not only will this be many of your first times to see this, but it'll be my first time as well. So far, it looks pretty much the same. We'll go ahead and click Next. Install now. We'll go ahead and choose the Windows Server Standard Edition. And Custom Install. All this is looking pretty familiar. And go ahead and start the install. And the install is complete. And now we're booting up for the first time. And it rebooted on me a couple of times, and after that, now we've got this new box that just popped up. It says the user's password must be changed before signing in. I'll go ahead and put in a password. There we go. I switched over to PowerShell by typing PowerShell. Let's get a list of the different features that are here. Let's see if we can do the pipe more. I'm not sure it will. Yep, yes, it will work. So there's all the features that we can install, roles and features actually, and the checkbox has the one feature that it has installed, file and storage services. And it shows all the role services as well. And we'll sort of scroll through these a little at a time so you can get a look at it. It's like Windows Defender is automatically installed, as well as, of course, PowerShell, which we're in now. And I don't see the graphical shell, so apparently we are just stuck in Command Prompt for this particular version. And if we pull up the ISO file, it's version 17623. So there's our first look at installing Windows Server 2019. Of course, it'll get a lot more interesting when they add the GUI to it, and then we'll try again.